astronaut deuces could turn into space grub. That tastes like doo-doo. No, really. In the future, astronauts traveling to Mars will need to recycle and reuse as much as possible, including their feces. Researchers are developing a system that uses microbes and human waste to make food for astronauts on long-haul missions. The system introduces microbes into the waste, which then break it down through anaerobic digestion. The methane released during the process is then used to grow the microbe Methylococcus capsulatus, which is used in animal feed and is a good source of protein and fat. According to one of the scientists, it's a bit like Marmite or Vegemite, and grows a lot faster than potatoes and tomatoes. Yeah, but it's your own poo. And have you guys tasted Vegemite before? Houston, we have a problem. Japanese astronaut grows taller. A new astronaut aboard the ISS thought he may have some issues returning to Earth after gaining some extra height. Japanese astronaut Norishige Kanai mistakenly tweeted this week that he had grown 3.5 inches after spending three weeks on board the International Space Station. He later corrected that claim to 0.8 inches. In space, astronauts' spines often expand due to the lack of gravity. This results in a height increase. Height returns to normal after the astronaut returns to Earth. Astronauts can also experience a loss of bone minerals and muscle mass. Nayi was worried that he might not be able to fit into his return craft, a Russian Soyuz, after thinking he had grown over a quarter foot, but now he should be just fine. Private companies drive new space race at NASA. NASA says it soon may be able to launch astronauts from U.S. soil to the International Space Station. Important project milestones are coming up for NASA's two commercial crew partners, Boeing and SpaceX, with several flight tests, including manned missions slated for 2018. Boeing is working on the CST-100 Starliner. The spacecraft can seat up to seven and is meant to send astronauts to the space station. Three Starliners are currently in production, with one set to carry astronauts next year. The pressurized vessel can be reused 10 times. SpaceX, which has flown cargo missions to the ISS with its Dragon spacecraft, plans to use the Dragon 2 to send astronauts to space. The Dragon 2 is the latest version of SpaceX's capsule model. It's designed to seat seven astronauts. Boeing and SpaceX must show that both of their systems are ready to start regular flights to the space station in order to meet NASA's requirements. SpaceX has its first test flight set for February, while Boeing's launch is planned for June. NASA investigates the effects of space radiation on the body. One of NASA's biggest challenges in designing a mission to Mars is how to protect astronauts on the long space journey. NASA's human research program is currently researching how space radiation affects the human body. Space radiation has enough energy to violently collide with nuclei that make up spacecraft shielding and human tissue. The collisions cause both the shielding nuclei and space radiation to break up into several different types of new particles, known as secondary radiation. NASA is currently focusing on the effects of galactic cosmic rays on the human body. GCRs that come from supernovas outside the solar system are the most harmful to the body. One of the main difficulties is that it's hard to simulate space radiation on Earth. Lab doses of radiation could be stronger and given for a shorter time than actual conditions in space. Radiation shield vest can protect astronauts from solar storms. A vest developed by an Israeli company to protect astronauts from solar radiation in deep space is set to be tested on a lunar mission. The AstroRad radiation shield is a vest made of layers of non-metallic protective materials. It is tailor-made to each astronaut to protect the wearer's vital human tissues, particularly the stem cells. The vest will be tested on the Orion spacecraft, which is scheduled to fly beyond the protective shield of Earth's atmosphere and magnetic field. The astronauts on this mission will be exposed to space radiation. The vest is designed to protect the astronauts from solar storms and flares. The company has already produced a belt that protects rescue crews on Earth from harmful radiation, such as gamma-ray radiation emitted during nuclear disasters. 